Senator Bacic is next. So. Oh, apologies, Chair. I, yeah. I wasn't sure of the appropriate order. Yeah. And it's very hard to follow Senator McLaughlin. I just want to commend you, Senator, for your real, really strong uh, and um, eloquent uh, language in support of this important bill. I'd like to welcome Minister Bruton to the House and to give apologies on behalf of my colleague, Senator Reardon, who can't be here himself, but has asked me uh, on behalf of the Labour Party to express our strong support for the bill. And I do want to commend Senator Kelleher and Senator Wan and their colleagues for putting forward this important bill and to uh, say how pleased I am to be able to support it. Uh, and to also give a warm welcome to those groups and individuals who are in the gallery to see the, uh, to watch this debate. Um, and to my own uh, colleague, Ronan McRae, who's an uh, equality law uh, expert and who's also here uh, for, the, uh, for the debate. And I should say that this bill I would see as, as part of a process by which we have come to uh, assert a strong recognition, a stronger recognition for uh, traveller rights and for traveller culture. And again, to, to say that Senator McLaughlin has played a huge role in this, and he was a colleague of mine on the Justice Committee, the Oireachtas Justice Committee, when we produced uh, an important report on recognition of traveller ethnicity. And uh, all colleagues on that committee will recall that the expert evidence to the committee was very clear to us that legislation was not necessary to, in order to ensure that the state would recognise traveller ethnicity. And it was that report which led ultimately to the uh, historic declaration of the then Taoiseach, Enda Kenny, in March 2017, to which uh, Senator Kelleher and others have referred. And that hugely important historic declaration of recognition of ethnicity uh, has again paved the way for initiatives like this bill. And I would see this bill, I think, as a measure which would give practical practical effect to the, uh, to the spirit behind that declaration of ethnicity. Clearly there are many more steps that need to be taken also and others have referred to um, the continuing and um, most distressing attitudes, uh, anti-traveller attitudes that we're seeing in so many areas. Uh, we also we, need to, we know that more needs to be done in terms of promotion of, uh, of health care, better health care, better mental health care, better health care measures for travellers. So a good, great deal more needs to be done. But this bit is a very important step. Um, I listened also with interest to the words of Senator Conway and uh, I would hope that the Minister will support the bill as Senator Conway has indicated his own support uh, for it. Uh, but Senator Conway also pointed out that, the bit, that there, it may not be necessary to enact legislation in order to make a change in terms of the curriculum in schools and to ensure that children will be taught about traveller culture and history in schools. And I would hope that we might see um, such a step being taken. It, it might well need statutory underpinning, and I do think it's important we would have statutory underpinning to ensure that, uh, that it would be uh, rolled out across all schools. I think the concern would be that uh, without legislation it might not be consistently done through schools. But certainly it would be good to see uh, uh, it would be good to see immediate steps being taken to ensure that curric the curriculum would include reference to traveller culture and to traveller history. And I do think this is vital, not only for children from the traveller community themselves, but of course for all our children. And Senator Keller very eloquently spoke about that, that this is a way of enriching our education system much more generally, um, that this would broaden the cultural and historical education of Irish students. And she pointed out the initiative of Black History Month as an example of the way in which this sort, an initiative of this sort can enrich education more generally. And we're also indebted to, um, to uh, Senator Kelleher for providing us with a legal opinion in support of the legislation from James Cain uh, in the Law Library. And he points out, rightly, that the Convention on the Rights of the Child provides in Article 30 for uh, the rights of children belonging to a minority or who, uh, or who are Indigenous uh, not to be denied the right to enjoy their own culture and, uh, and, uh, and so on. So that's an important right relating to children from ethnic minorities, such as the traveller community. But there is also the broader statement of the rights of children to receive a more inclusive education. And I think that's well stated by the European Court of Human Rights in the Orsic versus Croatia case, where the court observed an emerge about uh, the court observed the emerging international consensus amongst member states of the Council of Europe recognising the special needs of minorities and an obligation to protect their security, identity and lifestyle, not only for the purpose of safeguarding the interests of the minorities themselves, but to preserve a cultural diversity of value to the whole community. I think that's a hugely important point to emphasise, that a bill of this nature and a, prescri um, a prescription of this nature that, um, that schools would 
um, uh, that the minister would prescribe that traveller culture and history would be taught in recognised schools and, should and the minister would prescribe the content of the syllabus to be taught in that regard. This is very important in terms of uh, enriching our education system as a whole in order to preserve a, uh, the cultural diversity that is of value to our entire community. So that's hugely important. That's the sort of measure that will change the dreadful attitudes which Senator McLaughlin referred to and it is a very important practical step. And I would conclude just by saying that you know, within the Oireachtas this year we've taken some very important steps with the Vote All 100 Committee of which I'm proud to be chair to ensure that our school children are being taught more about the history of women's rights and of uh, um, equality for women uh, in Ireland, in Irish society. Uh, and we uh, saw in this chamber in April a group of, of wonderful transition year students debating the impact of women, of women achieving the right to vote uh, as we mark the centenary of women's suffrage uh, through our diasporic Nanog. So again, that shows how changing the curriculum, um, ensuring that children receive education about, uh, um, about uh, the winning of rights and about get the gaining of equality in Irish society, how that can enrich children's educational experience generally. And I think this bill is an important measure in that vein. And I'm very happy again to support it on behalf of the Labour Party. Gurmagat.